Okay, next up is another dreary, uninspired romantic comedy, and guess who it stars? No, not Kate Hudson. No, not Matthew McConaughey. Not even Jennifer Garner. Nia Vardalis, that's right, who made last month's dreadful My Life in Ruins, and this movie is almost every bit as dreadful. But made somewhat, and I'm talking somewhat, I mean grading on a bell curve here, somewhat more entertaining because it reunites John Corbett with Nia Vardalis. Of course, John Corbett was the male lead in My Big Fat Greek Wedding, which seems to be Vardalis' only good movie. And again, it's the same old crap over and over. We know what's going to happen. We know these people are going to get together despite their differences, blah, 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 blah. Yes, the proposal was pretty much the same aspect, but the proposal was funny. It was funny. It had good dialogue, funny dialogue. The actors were good. The supporting characters were fun. None of that here. Absolutely none of it. I hated this movie. Again, Vardalos plays Genevieve. Well, another quirky character. She is crazy in her own sense, just like she was in My Life in Ruins. She's completely one note here, just like she was in that movie. Completely unlikable, like she was in that movie. <sighs> anyway, she has a she she has this policy. She only dates goes on five dates with a guy because she feels it all goes downhill after that. So of course she meets John Corbett's character, Greg. Yada yada yada. He can understand the whole thing. Basically, it's like the almost the same outline as Sweet November, which was a much worse film than this. Don't get me wrong, but still, like I need another rehash to remind me of that movie. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. This is just a dreary, dreary, downtrodden film that just gives us nothing and likes it. <laughs> I I just don't understand how these movies keep being made. Uh, Vardalis seems like a smart enough actress slash writer or whatever and she really directed this like she did my big fat Greek wedding this is why I was somewhat psyched about this film unlike my life in ruins nothing I got I got nothing from this film I hated 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 it to quote Roger Ebert again not quite as bad as my life in ruins but still the fact that she's made two bad movies in one year gives her the Kate Hudson award and uh, just want to drive a nail into my head rather than watch any movie anytime soon with Nia Vardalis and poor John Corbett who normally plays a pretty good male lead just solid here with nothing. There's even a scene where a character delivers a, a bad joke and we're supposed to find it funny of how bad the joke is. There's a sorry but you still gotta write that smartly. Didn't work here. Um, again, there's just nothing here. If you're going to see a chick flick, see the proposal. It's at least funny, even if it is predictable. The, propo the proposal's hilarity and material overcame its predictability. This overcomes n whole lot of nothing. One star out of five for I Hate Valentine's Day.